Mr. Murphy here. So we're finally on quarter two. We're starting this. Uh, understand that solutions to a system of two linear equations in two variables corresponds to points of intersection of their graphs. So a couple of things here. First of all, when we had one variable, um, 25 equals 3x minus 2, then we solve for the one variable and there was one answer or sometimes no answer or sometimes an infinite number of answers. Um, two variables means each system, each equation is going to have a bunch of answers and you string those together and draw, uh, connect them with a, a line and you have two lines. So uh, we are looking for um, two of those equations, so we'll have two lines, uh, and where they cross is what we will call the solution to that system of equations. Does that make sense to you? So we're just looking for the solution to the system of equations. So um, estimate the solutions to the system of linear equations from a graph of the equations. So let's look at this. What is the solution? So we see the two lines. You can see they meet right here, uh, and that is the point for two. So um, you'll have to look at a graph and tell me where the two lines cross. Um, this one, you'll also have to be able to estimate it. So graphing is a great way to quickly find a solution, but sometimes graphs are not as exact as you want it to be. So we can see that this point is somewhere around, uh, let's see, it goes over maybe one and a quarter and goes down maybe two and a half. So the solution to this is going to be like one negative two, one and a quarter, negative two and a half, something like that. You're just estimating, you can know where it is, but not the exact numbers. Right. So the first thing you'll have to learn is the vocabulary. It's just intersection, solution, and simultaneous, meaning at the same time. Uh, and skills you're going to have to have are being able to graph linear equations, identify the point, so you may have to know the point in the correct order, x and y. Um, when is one solution, no solution, or infinite solutions? And then explain what it means in a word problem. So let's take a look. Can you graph these two equations, right? The first thing was, can you graph them? So y equals negative, or y equals 3x, so that's going to start at 0 and go up 3 and over 1. So there we go. Starts at 0, goes up 3 over 1. And then y equals x plus 2, so that's going to start at 2 and go up 1 and over 1. So we click there, and there we go. And can you find the solution? Well, the solution looks like 1, 3. There it is. Pretty easy. Um, can you graph these two equations and find the solution? So we have the y equals 3x again, and then we have y equals 3x plus 2. So it's a little bit different. Uh, so y equals 3x starts at the center and goes up 3 and over 1. And then y equals 3x plus 2. It's going to start at 2, and it's going to go up 3 and over 1. So we graph that, and we notice they both have the same slope of 3, except the red line goes through 0, and the blue line goes through 2. So this is no solution, because those two lines are parallel, they have the same slope, but they cross at different points on the y-axis, so they're never going to touch. Okay. And then the third one, what does the solution mean in terms of the problem? So you can read the problem. I'll give you a second to do that.
All right, pause if you need a little more time. So your question is how many hot dogs and how many sodas? So we have to find, we, we know there's 20 total hot dogs and sodas, and we know hot dogs are a dollar and sodas 50 cents, and sold a total of $15. So write the equations, X for hot dogs, Y for sodas, because we're gonna figure out where they cross. Okay? So we have a total of $15, so $1.50 per hot dog, so $1.50 times the hot dogs, plus 50 cents per soda, so 50 cents times Y, and that makes a total of $15. So that's one equation. And then the other equation is total sales. There's 20 hot dogs and sodas, so hot dogs plus sodas is 20. So let's graph these two equations. These are a little harder to graph, uh, so you can put it into Desmos if you like, or GeoGebra, or uh, if you can solve it and then graph it, that would be awesome. Uh, but the first equation, um, x plus y equals 20, is the blue line, so it starts at 20 and goes down. And then um, the red line is $1.50x plus 0.50y equals 15, and that starts somewhere way up there and goes down this way. Um, you can see that they cross right here, so that's 5 and 15. Right? There you go, 5 and 15. So what does that mean? Well, remember, X is hot dogs, so 5 hot dogs, and Y is sodas, so 15 sodas. Right? So that's the solution for this equa set of simultaneous equations, is 5 hot dogs and 15 sodas were sold in one hour, uh, and we got that by graphing and then figuring out where those two lines met. And so that is the first part that we're gonna learn.